Welcome back to my channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to explore. Six intriguing theories about consciousness. But before we start, make sure you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like this video if the topic fascinates you. Let's get started. Materialism. Materialism, also known as physicalism, proposes that consciousness arises from the complex interactions of neurons and their associated electrochemical activity in the brain. According to this theory, our subjective experiences and conscious awareness can be fully explained by the physical workings of our brain. Neurons, the building blocks of the brain, communicate through electrical and chemical signals. They form intricate networks that process and transmit information. Materialism suggests that it is within these neural networks that consciousness emerges. The electrochemical activity of neurons generates electrical impulses called action potentials. These impulses allow communication between different regions of the brain. Additionally, neurons release chemical messengers, known as neurotransmitters, to transmit signals across synapses, the tiny gaps between neurons. Materialism emphasizes the importance of information integration. It suggests that as neurons process and integrate information from various sources, conscious experience arises. The brain's ability to integrate and differentiate information leads to our perception thoughts, emotions, and awareness. The human brain is incredibly complex, with billions of neurons and trillions of connections. Materialism highlights that this intricate network of neurons gives rise to the complexity and richness of our conscious experience. Materialism also provides insights into how cognitive functions, such as perception, attention, memory, and language, are related to consciousness. These functions are attributed to specific patterns of neural activity and information processing in the brain. Scientific studies using advanced imaging techniques, such as functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, have contributed to our understanding of the neural correlates of consciousness. These studies investigate the relationship between specific brain regions and conscious experience, supporting the materialistic viewpoint. Materialism's perspective on consciousness offers a reductionist explanation. It suggests that our conscious experiences can ultimately be explained by understanding the underlying physical processes in the brain. This viewpoint challenges the existence of any separate or non-physical aspect of consciousness. Dualism. This theory suggests that there is a fundamental duality between the mind, or consciousness, and the body. According to this theory, consciousness is not reducible to the physical processes occurring in the brain, but instead exists independently. While the brain plays a crucial role in facilitating consciousness, dualism suggests that consciousness itself is not synonymous with the brain. It posits that consciousness is a distinct entity that transcends the physical aspects of the body. Dualism offers a perspective that challenges the traditional notion that consciousness arises solely from the complexity of neural interactions. Instead, it suggests that consciousness has a separate existence beyond the physical realm. One of the intriguing aspects of dualism is its proposition that consciousness may potentially survive bodily death. Dualists argue that consciousness could continue to exist in some form, even after the physical body ceases to function. Dualism highlights the subjective nature of conscious experience. It suggests that each individual possesses a unique and personal consciousness, shaping their subjective experiences of the world. Throughout history, Dualism has sparked philosophical debates about the relationship between the mind and the body. It raises questions about how a non-physical consciousness can interact with and influence the physical world. It's important to note that dualism is not the only perspective on consciousness. Alternative theories, such as materialism or monism, propose that consciousness is a product of physical processes in the brain. Dualism challenges us to consider the nature of consciousness and its relation to our physical existence. By exploring the idea that consciousness is separate from the body, we open up new avenues of inquiry and philosophical reflection. Panpsychism. This theory proposes a profound idea, that consciousness is not exclusive to humans or animals, but exists at some level in all things. According to this theory, consciousness is a fundamental aspect of reality itself. One of the key concepts in panpsychism is the interconnectedness of all phenomena. It suggests that everything in the universe is interconnected and shares a common thread of consciousness. From the tiniest particles to the vast expanses of the universe, panpsychism posits that consciousness exists to some degree in all forms of matter. It challenges the traditional view 
that consciousness is limited to certain biological organisms. Imagine a world where consciousness permeates not just living beings, but also the rocks, the trees, the rivers, and even inanimate objects. Panpsychism invites us to see the world around us as alive and aware in its own unique way. Panpsychism recognizes that consciousness exists on a spectrum with varying degrees of complexity. From the simplest particles to complex organisms, the level of consciousness varies, leading to a rich tapestry of experiences. Throughout history, philosophers have explored the implications of panpsychism. It challenges our understanding of consciousness, the nature of the mind, and raises profound questions about the fabric of reality itself. Panpsychism also has implications for our ethical considerations. If consciousness exists in all things, it prompts us to reflect on our responsibilities towards the environment, non-human entities, and even inanimate objects. Panpsychism encourages us to see the world in a new light, fostering a deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness of all things. It invites us to embrace a more holistic and inclusive perspective, promoting empathy and respect for all forms of life. Integrated Information Theory on IT Integrated Information Theory proposes a profound idea that consciousness emerges from the integrated information within a system. It suggests that consciousness is not merely a byproduct of brain activity, but an intrinsic property of information integration. According to IIT, the brain operates as a highly interconnected network, with neurons constantly communicating and processing information. It is within this network that consciousness emerges through the integration and differentiation of information. The human brain is an incredibly complex organ, with billions of neurons and trillions of connections. Integrated information theory highlights that this intricate network of neurons gives rise to the complexity and richness of our conscious experience. IUT emphasizes the importance of information integration. It suggests that consciousness arises when information is integrated in a highly differentiated and interconnected manner. The brain's ability to integrate and differentiate information is key to our conscious perception and experience. One of the key components of integrated information theory is the mathematical measure called phi. Phi quantifies the level of integrated information within a system. A higher phi value suggests a higher degree of information integration and a greater potential for conscious experience. IWT also provides insights into how cognitive functions, such as perception, attention, memory, and language, are connected to consciousness. These functions arise from specific patterns of integrated information and information flow within the brain. Scientists have been conducting research using advanced imaging techniques, such as functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI to investigate the neural correlates of consciousness and explore the principles of integrated information theory. Integrated information theory offers a unique perspective on consciousness, focusing on the integration and differentiation of information within complex networks. It provides a framework for understanding the relationship between the brain's network dynamics and our conscious experiences. Simulation theory. Simulation theory proposes a fascinating idea that our conscious experience is akin to living in a computer-generated simulation. It suggests that our perception of reality is constructed by our brains, creating a simulated model of the external world. According to simulation theory, our brains process vast amounts of sensory information from our environment. They use this information to construct a virtual reality, an internal simulation that represents our perception of the external world. Just as a video game simulates a virtual world, Simulation theory suggests that our conscious experience is a constructed model of reality. It highlights the idea that what we perceive as the physical world is, in fact, an elaborate simulation created by our brains. Our brains receive and interpret sensory input, such as sight, sound, touch, and more. Simulation theory proposes that this information is processed and synthesized into our conscious experience, shaping our perception of the world around us. Simulation theory recognizes the subjective nature of conscious experience. Each individual simulation is unique, influenced by factors like personal history, beliefs, and biases. This perspective acknowledges that our experience of reality is subjective and may vary from person to person. Throughout history, philosophers and scientists have contemplated the nature of reality and questioned whether our existence is, in fact, a simulation. 
Simulation theory engages in thought-provoking philosophical discussions, challenging our understanding of consciousness and the fabric of reality itself. One interesting aspect of simulation theory is the simulation hypothesis, which proposes that our entire universe is a computer-generated simulation. While this hypothesis is speculative, it sparks intriguing conversations and invites us to contemplate the nature of our existence. Simulation theory encourages us to question the nature of reality and our place within it. It challenges the distinction between the physical and the virtual, suggesting that our conscious experience is fundamentally intertwined with the simulated nature of our perception. Buddhist Perspectives Buddhism offers profound insights into consciousness, challenging our conventional understanding of the self and reality. One central concept in Buddhist perspectives is no-self, or anatta, which suggests that consciousness is impermanent, interconnected, and devoid of a fixed, independent entity. Anatta challenges the notion of a fixed, unchanging self. Instead, it teaches us to recognize the impermanence of our experiences and the ever-changing nature of consciousness itself. According to Buddhist perspectives, the self is not a solid entity, but a flow of mental and physical processes. Buddhist perspectives emphasize the interconnectedness of all beings and phenomena. Consciousness is seen as intimately connected to the external world and all living beings. Our experiences are shaped by the interplay of our mind, body, and the environment around us. Buddhist practices, such as mindfulness and meditation, play a vital role in exploring consciousness. By cultivating mindfulness, we develop a deep awareness of our thoughts, emotions, and sensations. Through meditation, we can observe the impermanence and interconnectedness of our experiences. Buddhist perspectives also emphasize compassion and kindness towards all beings. By recognizing the interconnectedness of consciousness, we cultivate empathy and develop a deep sense of compassion for others, promoting harmony and well-being. Throughout history, Buddhist scholars and practitioners have engaged in philosophical discussions about consciousness, perception, and the nature of reality. These discussions offer profound insights into the subjective experience of consciousness and its relation to our overall well-being. Within Buddhist perspectives, the ultimate goal is to attain enlightenment, a state of profound wisdom and liberation from suffering. It is believed that through deep understanding of consciousness and the nature of reality, one can transcend the limitations of the self and achieve a state of profound peace and awakening. Buddhist perspectives on consciousness offer a unique lens through which we can explore the nature of our subjective experience. They invite us to question the nature of the self, embrace impermanence, cultivate compassion, and seek wisdom in our quest for understanding. If you found this video thought-provoking, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more captivating content. And don't forget to leave your comments below. I love to hear your thoughts on these fascinating theories. Until next time, keep exploring and questioning. Thank you for joining me today.